Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up DNS server on Ubuntu hosted on AWS using the image available in the marketplace. The links for both the image from the marketplace and the step-by-step -step guide blog post from the website Cloud Infrastructure Services are available in the description box, so make sure to check them out. So from this marketplace listing, what you want to do is that you want to click on continue to subscribe or if you have not subscribed to it yet, there would be an option subscribe so simply click on it and then on this screen you would have to wait for a little moment for your subscription to validate and after your subscription has validated you would have to click on continue to configuration and then from here you can choose the ami which is the amazon machine image software version and the region for the region i'm going to go with east asia because that is the one which is closest to me and then click on continue to launch now from this page you can create your ec2 virtual machine you can either choose to launch it from the website or to launch through the EC2. So I am going to launch it through the EC2. So simply change it to EC2 and click on launch. It should open up a new tab, which is the EC2 management console. From here, you can give a name to your virtual machine. So I'm going to call it bind DNS. Scroll down and make sure that the image is DNS Ubuntu. Then choose the instance type, key pair. I'm going to use an existing one. Scroll down. And when you are satisfied with the settings, simply click on launch instance. When the instance has been successfully initiated, you can click on this button that says view all instances. Here you can see my instance that I just created. But as you can see that it is still in the pending state. So you would have to wait for a little while for this virtual machine to change its state from pending to running. So now when the virtual machine is in running state, if you scroll to the right, you can see the public IP address of your virtual machine. So simply copy this public IP address, open up a new tab, paste in the IP address and then type in the port number 10,000 and hit enter. Now we use the port number 10,000 because we are trying to set up DNS using the webmin and webmin works on the port number 10,000. Now it is asking us for the username and the password, but we know that we have not given it any password authentication or username authentication. So come back to the EC2 management console right click on your virtual machine and click on connect from here you can see that there is this command which should allow you to connect to your virtual machine using the ssh terminal so i'm going to copy this command open up a command prompt i'm going to paste the command inside here but i'm going to replace this quotation marks with the path where i've stored my key after putting in the path for your private key you want to simply hit enter and then when prompted you want to type in yes and now you're connected to the ssh terminal of your virtual machine now what you want is that you want to create that authentication for webmin. Basically, the webmin is asking for the username and the password of this Linux operating system. So we need to set a password for this operating system. And the command for that is sudo passwd which stands for password and hit enter. And then you want to give a password to your Ubuntu. So I'm going to write my password, re-enter my password. And once my password has been successfully updated, I can go back to my webmin login, refresh the page and log in using the username root and the password that I've just created. And as you can see that we have logged into the webmin server. Now in here, the very first thing that you want to do is that you want to click on this refresh modules button. So refresh the modules. Once that is done, you can click on this server and then bind DNS. So in here, you can bind your DNS server. For that, the very first thing that you need to do is that you want to create a master zone. So simply click on this button that says create master zone. And for the domain name and network, I'm going to type in testdns.com. And for the email address, I'm going to type in something like test at testdns.com. And then I'm going to click on the button that says create. And now you're done with setting up your bind DNS on AWS. But you can see that there are a lot of records over here. You can set up an address record, name server record, public key record, SSL certificate record, and so much more. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to add in an address record. So simply click on address, type in the name, I'm going to call it accounts type in the address of your virtual machine without the port number so it is 13.213.59.136 make sure that the radio button which is update reverse is activated and then click on create so as you can see that we have created an address record for accounts.testdns.com so that is how you set up bind dns on aws so if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave them in the comment section below and make sure to check out the link in the description box for the image listing on the aws marketplace and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide and if this video has helped you in any way then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.